where else can you see Elvis Presley riding a buck jump bronco? <laughs> Bo Peep running in a barrel race. Oh, she's lost the shape. What about the costume? A wedding inside a rodeo arena. You can kiss your bride. And a pop superstar performing in the outback. Sorry about my voice. <laughs> I haven't sounded this horse That for cowboy a dust, man. I know, it's the <laughs> dust, I reckon. You. At Mount Isa, of course, Calcadoon country, home of the famous rodeo now running for 63 years. Oh, look, people don't know where Mount Isa is. Uh, and the rodeo puts us on the map. This is where the best cowboys and cowgirls in the land are pitted against the fastest and roughest livestock and the clock in an arena like none other in Australia. This is my arena here, will be my first time in this arena. Uh, it's going to be a big blast for me because it's new and it's, and it's like an American stadium. Yeah, the olden days rodeos were different. The Mount Isa Rodeo began in 1959, back in the days when the cattle used to be walked by stockmen from a station up near Camelwheel down to the rodeo's original location at Calcadone Park. Now, with prize money more than 300 grand and nominations nudging a thousand, it's become the largest and the most prestigious rodeo in the Southern Hemisphere. There's a lot of history in this, this rodeo. You go back to the day of Cal Cadoon and you've got the best stock in Australia here, the best competitors, the prize money's always been good. A thrill for tens of thousands of tourists from afar and a celebration for the region's locals. It's a time where we can come together and have a yarn and we haven't seen each other for ages. So it's an important social event for us. This year, history is made. For the first time, the event runs for four days beginning with the inaugural Indigenous Rodeo Championships to celebrate the Aboriginal cowboy and the historic contribution of First Nations stockmen. My grandfather was a head stockman at uh, Valley of Lagoon Station. I grew up on the station with him, uh, went to rodeos and that with him. Now you've got the Mount Isa Rodeo, but what do you think about this new Indigenous Championship? Oh, it is good, mate. It is good. You know, just looking around and seeing all different different family, um, brother boys coming into, the, in, into this year and, and, and I just said to my missus, I said, well your grandfather rode and, and used to do the horses, I said, my grandfather was in, in the radio circuit, um, I'm riding for my family today. Fitting that the opening night of the Rodeo Rock Show was headlined by Baker Boy, the Prince of Arnhem Land and a rising star in Aussie hip hop. Mate, welcome to Mount Isa, how's it feel to be here? Oh, it feels amazing. Um, this is my first rodeo, so it's kind of pretty sick. The crowd thought he was pretty sick too, as he rolled through a set list that's earned him accolades for Indigenous Artist and Album of the Year. The whole show is a spectacle for ticket holders, but for competitors, the Mount Isa Mines Rodeo is a chance to be written into the history books and to win at the sport's most lucrative event. They'll spend a lifetime chasing that coveted Isa buckle. Sharon Maguire, the veteran rider from Yass in New South Wales, won the All Round Cowgirl Award in 1985. This year, she takes home the blue ribbon for breakaway roping. I've got four grandchildren, so I'm pretty stoked to win this. I didn't think I would be coming back here and winning the breakaway, so pretty happy. Fred Osmond, the cowboy from Cameron's Corner, is the current king of bareback bronc riding. He's got four eyes of buckets. Come on, Mount Isa, let's hang around, let's make a little noise. Well, that's the reason why that cowboy is an Australian champion. So special is the hallowed red dirt at the Buchanan Park Arena. This year, it's where Osman married his Canadian sweetheart, Kyla Dolan. Isn't it amazing? Look, when uh, Kyla and Fred rang me after Road to Rodeo in Longreach and said, hey Nat, we've got an idea. What about us getting married in the arena? I was like, absolutely. Within half an hour of walking out with his new bride, Osman was jumping back into the arena, picking up his fifth eyes of buckle. story you could only find in Mount Isa and there are many stories from over the decades. Just ask Bob Catter. A bit of comic humour, you know. All the boys used to come down from Doomagy and they get in a fight with the locals here and the fights were terrific. Um, you know, uh, Lee Kernigan's uh, sister was doing the flag, you know, around the arena last year and she waved to me, Tanya, Tanya Kernigan waved to me, you know, like, 
<laughs> you might recall that that night, Bob, you and I went backstage, met with Lee Kernig, and we both did a shot of fireball oh, with there, you. You were there, that's right, Aaron. You were there that night. But I mean, mother's Wild show. That was no, no. I don't know about you, but I thought that was bigger than Ben Hur, you know. <laughs> Being in there having the, having the rum shot before he went on the stage. And then back to Fred Bofi's boxing tent. Um, well, I mean, can there be anything more Australian than Brophy's boxing tent? Are you sitting here this year? He is, yeah. Oh, good. Happy to go down and see him, yeah. No backstage shots for Guy Sebastian, but a live performance for the ages on Saturday night as the pop superstar performed a song from his Australian Idol rival from two decades ago, Shannon Knoll. I'm sorry, Shannon. I got a car. It was wonderful to see you bust out his number. What was it like learning learning Nolsey's song? That one, it's pretty easy, you know. <laughs> um, the, the chorus pretty much says, "Let's drive." On Championship Sunday, the atmosphere is tense. This is when they ride for the cash and the glory. <laughs> will fall short for another year. <laughs> Carter's Towers cowgirl Tylan Gibb, riding trusty 20-year-old gelding Ramses, rides away with the barrel racing blue ribbon. How does it feel to win an Isaac Buckle? Absolutely fantastic. Why is it so great? Um, oh, Mount Isa is prestigious and you know everyone wants to win Mount Isa and it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Finally the big one, the open bull ride final more than $30,000 in prize money on the line. Once you get that atmosphere in there, you get the crowd going, you lift them, well, the stock lift, the competitors lift, everything goes to that next level. It's just, it's magic, yeah. It, it just puts you, the hair up on the back of your neck. Big names like Lachlan Richardson and current Australian champion Donovan Rutherford for a short. And 2022 becomes the breakthrough year for Barkhall and Cowboy Jackson Gray. Yeah, I'm ecstatic. I've been um, dreaming about this and trying to make it happen for a while now. And yeah, I'm just happy that it's come true. Tell us about the boy you got on today. Um, the bull I got on today is a real good little buck. He's a bit hard on your feet, but um, yeah, I got the job done. There was a, a fraction there where I thought you would come off, but you sort of glued back into the seat somehow. Yeah, you just got to let your subconscious mind take over and just hold on. I'm just super blessed to be able to do what I love doing and be healthy enough to do it and just happy to come away with the win. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much, Harry. Follow the Country Caller online. Harry Clark, founder and editor.